Okay, let's look in the markets. Uh, Dow Jones, um, at all indexes, this one kind of didn't give you the most uh, bang for the buck regarding the candle. Uh, you'll see that a little bit later, but uh, more of like a hammer or basically seeing if the uh, bulls could have pulled off of the uh, the lows for the day. So again, we see that we're definitely in a tight training range for the last three to four three weeks uh, before this week just started and I uh, kind of just want to see what happens from there uh, see if we if we're looking to get even remotely long we want to see uh, it get above this 165.50 area 51 area um, the other names kind of look a little bit better so SPY bounced off this and continues if it could break above this high of 184.94 uh, that one would look uh, really good and you can see pretty much the price action for the day uh, got open came all the way down and then fought its way back to you know a pretty decent area if you want to kind of really dig into it let's look at some type of fib areas to see if that helps give some clarity so it is above the 50 uh, percent retracement line so testing at 62 so um kind of just wanted to see where that was going to go if it just would have got to the 50 and rolled over but it did not so uh we'll kind of see how that goes from there and uh and trading accordingly so again this is i wanted to kind of show the intraday action for the day versus just saying why this look bullish or why this if it can get above this would be really good and you see they fought their way at that 10 day level and held it so i uh, want to see some type of follow-through growth for that we have the qqq uh same thing if you want to break it down you could kind of see it from the intraday action uh gapped up and then close and this one actually looks really really good because it fought all the way back and basically almost got or closed above the uh, opening high so that's that's a good sign for the qqq and we'll see if we can follow through for tomorrow and you have a uh, bullish uh macd cross so that's always something that looks good uh, russell again i'm not going to go to the intraday but you kind of get the same picture of what's going on and uh <clears throat> that looks uh so far so good so let's look into a couple of names as well let's look at a facebook facebook um looking really good closing strong see if it can follow through and and break this uh high i posted a, a chart um that i sent out to twitter <clears throat> actually on the 15th i think and just said that you know basically having these this ascending uh triangle that we just want to see uh the highs being broken and go from there uh tesla had a great day today uh, up almost four percent uh that's a trade that i got into actually uh friday so i just rolled my stop up and uh it's continuing to the upside so hopefully we get some continuation and maybe uh it's close to testing this high so we'll, we'll see if we can get above there and then you know look at from the weekly aspect <clears throat> you got pretty much just this tail and if it clears that it could definitely reach above and get back to this but not, that might not all happen in one to two weeks so we just have to see where it goes from there if we're going to be swing, swing trading it uh apple apple had a good bounce off the 50 but again you know this is a lot of sideways action that you could see uh let me take this stuff off to kind of give a little bit of clarity to what's going on so you see you have this basically almost like a shooting star basically showing that the weakness there was weakness from the bull side so if we could get it back above this 560 area that would definitely be something that would be a little bit more um bullish in my opinion but again it's just been trading pretty much sideways for a little bit and that's the thing that makes this a little bit difficult is that you see it's kind of been in this little box uh per se for a little while so uh there might be better names to trade at the end of the day so you see this box from the daily it's just been gapping up fading gapping up and, and fading and let's see if this is going to gap up and at least hold some type of um you know some type of trend because it could get really uh, ugly google um <clears throat> Google looks good on the daily. It, it again intraday. It, it pretty much uh, got above this high, and uh, it's it's looking to go strong. So maybe we see some follow through on Google tomorrow. Only time will tw tell. Well, uh, twelve is because I was thinking about Twitter, uh, which we saw this descending triangle got broken. But we want to see if we at least break above these highs. Volume is low. MACD is kind of flat. So kind of just really have to see what's going on with that name uh we have <clears throat> biogen huge day today uh continue to the upside once it broke these highs so that's a good day for that one one to consider is uh w uh day work day that actually um if it could get above these highs it could definitely look to see uh what's going on if it could continue because you see the selling volume has decreased but we want to see if we get some follow-through to the upside um uh, <clears throat> rtn 
it's another name I'm looking at. Could kind of look at it as like a cup and handle type of thing. So uh, let me see if I can kind of draw this out or just follow it. It's just the cup and a little bit of handle right here. So we could break above that. That's the cup and handle uh, that looks to the, uh, good to the upside. And we have a little bit of curl on the MACD. Let's see if we have any weekly action. This clear sky is weekly. So uh, that's something that, that's good to consider. Uh, we have uh, American Tower. Uh, that's another company that looks pretty good. Um, if it could continue, the trend is definitely up, but it's on the weekly. We will have some type of resistance at that uh, 85 level, so just be aware of that. Okay, uh, last but not least, uh, Solar City. Solar City is funky, so we had a gap up, fade down. Now we have another one, so let's kind of see if we could break this down to uh, maybe the 30 minute would kind of give us a little bit of clarity of what's actually happening. And um, again, you just I think you just get above the 7986 level and you kind of see where that goes from there. So this uh, support held today, which was a good sign. So let's kind of draw this line out. So the 30 minute you had the support that actually held from uh, the opening 30 minute <clears throat> on Thursday and that held. So let's see if we could continue higher. Um, but again, to me, the, the high probability trade is getting above this nasty candle, uh, this gap and, and gap down. So the gap down, actually, I think the candlestick terminology, that would be, it almost would be something like dark cloud cover. And that's when you gap up and fade the whole day. And usually you want to see more than 50% of this candle um, actually be basically broken into to continue to the downside but again i'm at the trend of the market is, is kind of making that these again if you're going to look to go short i would say that you have to be quick and nimble because there's things that you know might have looked good cores i think could set up uh right now it's not looking bullish at all quite honestly tiff oops tiffany um that one is continuing to the downside and, and it has a lot of gap to fill so just be aware of that that might be something you might look to short uh, today or tomorrow. Maybe you wait for some type of, you know, uh, price action that you could get a, a defined risk in. Or maybe you could even say, listen, I'm going to use the 50 or maybe the high of this as my stop and ride it out. But you got to be really, really careful with uh, some of these things that are looking to go short because um, and this one might be one. But again, the volume has decreased, but it's going sideways uh, for Microsoft. But it is below the the, uh, the the 10 day. So I didn't want to add too many different names onto that. That's something I'm looking at. Uh, ACAM is something I'm still looking at. Uh, and I've been calling this one to say 40, 49, 49 is, is at least the, the break. And it, it looks like it's flagging. If it could continue up and break through that, that would be a good sign. So let's see. Everything looks bullish so far. And uh, we'll see if that one could continue up. But again, uh, my name is Maximus. And uh, you know, I like really doing these, but I would also like to get some feedback. If you guys have Forex pairs that you like, if you have commodities that you like to look at, of course, the equity side, any future, if it has a chart, I really, really love doing analysis. And I think that everybody can learn because the same thing that I'm showing is just price patterns that are pretty much, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you like, well, I wouldn't say it doesn't matter if you like penny stocks or anything like that, because the biggest thing with penny stocks, again, um, is the liquidity and if you can get out when you want to get out. Um, but you can apply this to whatever. And I would like to get some comments so I can at least do some chart requests for you guys uh, to kind of give you a second opinion. I might, might, it might match what you have. It might not. But that's it. All, it's also to get people to think. And I, sometimes you might say, oh, you know, uh, Max might be something that you need to think about in X, Y, Z. And I have no problem. There's no ego on this side of the table. So, again, I really appreciate you watching these videos and take care and trade them well.